Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This video is regarding production of streptomycin. Production of streptomycin can be defined as the process that produces an antibiotic that is streptomycin using the strain of actinomycetes. Streptococcus gracious is used in the large scale production of streptomycin. Production of streptomycin is a complex process which goes through a series of operations under the sterile conditions. The inoculum production Maintain the hands of streptomyces gracious spores in the stock soil culture. Then inoculate the inoculum of S. gracious into the agar media at 28 degrees centigrade. After that, the spores of S. gracious sporulate and build up the mycelial network in the flask or seed tanks. After sufficient mycelial growth, it is fed to production fermenter. Preparation of the medium The production of streptomycin requires hook and hole nutrient medium with the following media composition. Apart from these, phenyl acetic acid l methylene acetic acid may be added as growth stimulating compounds. It is better to add proline into the medium which helps in higher streptomycin production. Fermentation Sterilized liquid medium with all the above substances is fed to the production fermenter. Appropriate volume of inoculum is introduced into it. That's like 4 to 5 percent. The optimum fermentation temperature is in the range of 25 to 30 degrees centigrade and the optimum pH range is between 7.6 and 8. The process of fermentation is highly aerobic and lasts approximately for 5 to 7 days and passes through 3 phases. The first phase. It takes about 24 hours to 48 hours. Rapid growth and formation of abundant mycelium occurs during this phase. The pH rises to 8 due to release of ammonia into the medium due to proteolytic activity of aspirations. Glucose is utilized slowly and little production of streptomycin is witnessed. The second phase, it lasts for two days. Streptomycin production takes place at a rapid rate without increase in the mycelial growth. The ammonia released in the first phase is utilized, which results in the decrease of pH to 7.6 to 8. Glucose and oxygen are required in large quantity during this phase. Third phase Cells undergo disease, releasing ammonia and increase in the pH, which falls again after a period of continuous streptomycin production. Requirement of oxygen decreases and the contents of the medium including sugar get exhausted. Finally, streptomycin production ceases. Harvest and Recovery After completion of fermentation, the mycelium is separated from the broth by filtration. Streptomycin is recovered by several methods, which depends on the various conditions. This was all. Thanks for watching.